Scaling a drawing means changing the size of the object, but leaving the proportions the same. We can take large objects and draw them smaller so they will fit on our paper, or we can take super tiny objects and draw them larger than real life to show better detail. In class, we'll usually be drawing at half scale, which means that we're drawing an object at half the size it is in real life, but otherwise exactly the same. So every measurement we take from the object must be cut in half when we actually make the lines on the paper. That's not so bad when our object has nice and easy measurements like this one. At half scale, this 1 inch by 2 inch by 4 inch block would measure a half inch by 1 inch by 2 inches. But what if the numbers we're dealing with are not so friendly? This block measures 2 and 3 quarters of an inch by 5 and 1 eighth of an inch by 3 and a half inches. Now we have to find half of these measurements. This isn't as tough as it seems and I'll show you my trick for figuring out what half of a measurement is when it includes a fraction. First, I split up the whole number and the fraction so I can deal with them separately. First I'll find out what half of 2 is, and then I'll leave that alone and figure out what half of my fraction is. Anytime we want to know what half of a fraction is, all we have to do is double the number on the bottom. So in this case, half of 3 quarters of an inch is 3 eighths of an inch. So I found half of my whole number, and I found half of my fraction. Now I can add them back together, and I've found the measurement I was looking for. So 2 and 3 quarters of an inch at half scale is 1 and 3 eighths of an inch. If we want to draw an object twice as large as it is in real life, we just need to double all the measurements instead of cutting them in half. We need to make a note on our title blocks of the scale we're using so the person reading it knows how much bigger or smaller the object is in real life. We show the scale like this. The number on the left shows the length of a line on paper. The number on the right represents the same line on the actual object. This is half scale, meaning that every one inch on the paper represents two inches in real life. This is double scale, meaning that every two inches on the paper represents one inch in real life. There are many different scales that we could use in our drawings, and the notations work the same for all of them. 